Hey guys, welcome to this edition of Tower Talk TV. We are in Galveston, Texas, and we're gonna be hitching a ride with Captain Clint Schollmeyer back into the marsh system. Check that out. But this time we won't be doing sight fishing. It's, uh, it's April, it's a little bit dirty, there's been a lot of wind, so we're gonna be doing a lot of blind fishing. He's gonna show us some of his techniques that he's using. Then after that, we're gonna go out to the open water and look for some open water schools of redfish. Those things can be a ton of fun to catch. So stick around and check out this edition of Tower Talk TV. There must be a tournament day somewhere. The wind's freaking blowing like it wasn't supposed to be. my teachers when you not 100, huh? From the same ones say they love you, they did funny, huh? on them to uh, that single hook they come with the travel. I like the single hook because it doesn't damage the red fish's mouth and back. It makes it easier to get them off of here. But uh, I'll show you the reason and the benefit of this spoon over a lot of other ones. Spoon, even though it's heavy, it still catches the air and it flutters. This thing is, I mean, it cuts right through the air. For what? I'm in the and it's literal. I'm making money, it's digital. That was a backhand cast. I actually, this is a, one of the loose tournament pros, and I've got 30 pound uh, braids, which is 12 pound diameter on here. And that says that I've got about 140 yards of braided line on this. And in open water, going after redfish, when that school pops up, it's definitely a, a plus to be able to reach them when they pop up. Now my line's wet, let's give it another shot. Like I said, I'm back. to go after open water schools and you need to throw long you, you need to go get you some of these spoons and the real cool part about this is right now I'm sitting in water that's probably about a foot and a half deep and I'm not hanging the bottom with this thing you can reel it fast enough that you can actually start skipping this thing across the water it planes really flat all right super cool demonstration on the spoons hopefully later today we'll get to use those out in the open water but now let's get back to some fishing in the marsh Oh, check that out. First cast for Captain Schollmeyer. Fish on. Captain Schollmeyer's 23 foot Haney Magnum. Powered by a Mercury 250, this boat is fast, floats shallow, and goes skinny. This actually back here looks like a lot of water. It's actually only about 12 to 16 inches deep, so we're just barely floating. Just barely enough water for us to be back here. Just enough water for the trolling motor to be working. Gotta watch out for those tides. If the tide goes out, we could be stuck back here. I'm not worried though. Captain Schollmeyer has been back here many a times. He knows these conditions and waters inside and out. <laughs> right side, right, right kind of fish. So we were fortunate enough to tag along with Captain Schollmeyer on this trip. He's actually doing a little bit of scouting for an upcoming fishing tournament. Right here. We kick.
giving my elbow a workout. catches that fish you'll notice he's weighing it on that yellow scale and then he sticks it on the slant board to check out how long it is when you're fishing a redfish tournament those fish got to be under 28 inches if i can find their little brothers man i'll be in good shape The recent weather conditions have been extremely windy, which means this water is very dirty and nearly impossible to sight fish. So today, Captain Schollmeyer is fishing with a popping cork, which is an awesome technique for blind fishing when you can't see the fish. That popping cork helps attract the fish over to the area where your bait is and hopefully they'll get hungry and eat that bait. that elusive school of open water redfish. In the middle of the bay somewhere. Just rolled out of the marsh system. Cruising back across and came across some birds. What are you seeing out here? So you see the birds are packed. Some of them are flying that way. There might be another group over here that are busting the water that drew their attention. But the bulk of the birds are right here and they're they're all hovering in the same spot see how they'll, they'll dive down you got to kind of watch the birds they dive down but some of it they dive kind of high those lyre birds they attack each other in midair so it'll give you a false reading of where the fish are that one dove hit the water what they're doing out here in this open water they're they're usually on shad really big white shrimp or you'll see them actually on ribbon eels they're about a foot long
open schools of redfish are pretty cool. They tend to be the big giant bull reds, which are, uh, they're not good for eating and stuff, but they are a lot of fun to fight. A lot of fast, hot action, super strong fish. So today we got probably about 10 to, probably close to 10 mile an hour winds coming out of the north, northeast. So the water itself doesn't give away where the fish are, but the birds, I don't know if you can hear them right now, we're getting close to another school. There's a big mess of birds over here. That's what's uh, letting us know where these fish are at. Do you ever wonder why Academy's out of rattle traps? Let me rephrase that. If you're ever at Academy and they're out of something, this could be why. Hey man. This guy doesn't go to Academy and just buy one or two of something. Looking for some open water schools of fish. Clint put us on one right away. I hooked up, lost it. He hooked up, lost his. I hooked up again, was fighting mine for a minute. He got his, we got him about halfway to the boat and then we ended up both losing him. And then just that fast, the school was gone. Went underneath us, saw a big mud ball after that and then the school was gone. So uh, we regrouped, Clint put on a new hook on his and um, now we're back out in the water looking for some more. This guy's money when it comes to looking for those open schools of redfish. Keep watching, let's see if we can get one in the boat this time. See if we can see what these things look like. What you think, man? What you think? Badass. Beautiful fish. Hey guys, we finally landed a couple fish there. You just saw those guys. What beautiful fish. So Captain Clint, he took us up wind. And if you ever wondered if you needed a trolling motor with 10 speed, 36 volt, this is the whole reason why, because you got to track those fish. He got on them.
guys, thanks for watching this episode of Tower Talk TV. I hope you learned something. I hope you had fun. Captain Clint's always a great person to be on the boat with. We had a great time. Caught some super nice fish. Catch you guys on the next episode.